the box for the LG G2, a variant of this is coming to pretty much every major US carrier. It is LG's latest flagship, and let's ceremoniously strip it out of its box. And there it is, sitting there, doing its thing. Go ahead and pull the tray out with the phone with it for just a quick second. I throw it on the ground by accident. There's a phone number in there, which is why I did that. Uh, we've got a quick start guide for, of course, getting started quickly. Uh, a SIM card is a nano SIM. LG G2, I can probably understand that side of it. Product safety and warranty information. We've got a SIM removal tool, which is kind of cool in the shape of a G. We've got some um, connection cable. Uh, this is just a standard micro USB cable and a relatively large wall wart. But let's take a look at the phone that I foolishly threw on the table. Here is the LG G2. I'll go ahead and peel off the plastic and see if it can power on uh, and we'll run through all the specs. Gotta remember where that power button is. We'll certainly talk about that um, at length. As I peel off the screen protector here from its 5.2 inch screen, it's harder to do than you'd think. There we go. Uh, you are looking at a 1920 by 1080 screen with a pretty beastly 424 PPI, which is ridiculously clear. And I can tell you just by looking at the screen right now, it looks pretty uh, awesome. Uh, it's an HD IPS screen, in case you're wondering. I think LG does some of the best jobs actually with their screens, and you can sort of see what it looks like right there. Um, very, very quick. Uh, Android 4.2.2 at launch, being powered by an incredibly awesome Snapdragon 800 clocked at 2.26 gigahertz, which is crazy that phones have that much power now. Uh, it's got two gigs of RAM on board, available in either 16 or 32 gigabytes, but no external storage. Make sure you get one that's going to fit all of your storage needs. Uh, the main camera on the back is a 13 megapixel affair, and the front is a two megapixel job. I don't like call it an affair. It's not like it's cheating on itself with the front facing camera. Uh, 80211 AB GNN, it is dual band, Bluetooth 4.0, a very large 3000 milliamp hour battery, which is just 200 milliamps short of what the Galaxy Note 3 has with a way bigger screen. So this battery should last quite a while. At least that's the expectation. Uh, it weighs 14.3 grams or 5.04 ounces, available in white or black. So let's take a quick look at the phone and what it's going to have on it. So again, 5.2 inch screen with on-screen buttons. Uh, we'll go and go into apps and see what comes bundled with it. Uh, the AT&T stuff, you usually see AT&T code scanner, AT&T uh, drive mode, and family map. Uh, the Kindle comes pre-installed on it, Facebook. Uh, there's probably some LG things uh, on there. But you can see how many icons you can see in one row. It's pretty impressive. A quick remote, it's got uh, IR support evidently on it. A quick translator, video editor, uh, and the rest. Take a look at widgets, see if there's anything sort of fancy going on there that LG's done. Uh, analog clock, and uh, it looks to be about it. But the big story here, aside from this crazy gorgeous screen and really fast processor, is on the back. And it also appears to be a fingerprint magnet uh, on the back. These are the buttons. This is the volume up, down, volume up and down buttons and the power and lock button, which I think is going to be very weird. There are no buttons on the right-hand side and no buttons on the left. The idea is that you hold your phone in the back when you're using it and your, phone sort of natu your fingers naturally sort of go there. Uh, I'm not so sure how hard or easy it's going to be to sort of realize that that's the home button. Uh, it does have an LED ring that I'll go around it and which one's the volume, but only time will tell, and that is what reviews are for, uh, to see if it actually works or not. So, uh, anything you guys want to see about the phone, be sure to let us know. Leave it in the comments down below and we will show you. I'm um, kind of excited to take a look at this guy. It's sort of a really nice flagship. I think LG's done a really nice job improving their devices over the past few years. Uh, the Optimus G was a pretty solid device and expect the, um, its sequel uh, to be equally impressive. Anyway guys, let me know what you think. Anything else you want to see about the device, leave it in the comments down below. Until then, I am John Rentner from Techno Buffalo and I'll see you in the next video. What's up everyone, it's Ashley. Thanks so much for watching that most recent video. If you enjoyed it, please click on the word subscribe right underneath me to get tons of more tech videos from us here at Techno Buffalo. We've got unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of here on the channel. If you're in the mood for more technology, just click right over here to check out some of our most recent videos. See you next time, humans.